Hey everybody, it's Manny from Chapel Forge. So everyone knows how much I love my freeze dryer, but this is not the way that I like to see my freeze dryer. Um, I've had some issues with my freeze dryer since I've gotten it. When I first got it, the screen needed replaced. Harbor so it was great. They sent me a new one, Zap put it in, it was great. But then I couldn't pull a vacuum. And so I worked with Harvest Right and we checked all the things. We cleaned the door, we cleaned the rubber seal. We did all the normal things, cleaned it, all of that. I mean, I barely used it, so there wasn't that much to clean. Eventually we realized that where this comes into the unit, this tube needed to be re-siliconed. So Zad tore the machine apart. He re-siliconed that spot. And I used it for like a year with no issues. Lately, I've been having trouble with it not pulling a vacuum. Um, I like start these batches and it just constantly, like it'll run for 10 or 12 hours and then it'll tell me it can't pull a vacuum. And if you've ever heard the noise it makes when it can't pull a vacuum, it's like so disheartening because it's been running all this time, especially this time of year in July. There's like, you know, well, typically I'd have stuff coming in from the garden, but I have stuff from the produce auction. I haven't gotten anything from the auction in a couple weeks because this isn't running and I only have so much freezer space to store this stuff before it gets freeze dried. So Zad tore it apart again, re-siliconed it. It's still not working. I emailed Harvest Right. I asked them what their thoughts were, that I know all the regular routine things to check. They suggested that I download the latest software. So we're gonna try to download the latest software. Something else interesting we learned, and I don't know, I, this was new sort of something to check for us. We talked to a guy who's had a freeze dryer for about seven years, and he said when he did sauerkraut, it pulled too much acid or like too much, you know, the acidity so high in sauerkraut pulled it into the pump and it rusted parts of his pump. He wound up taking his whole pump apart, cleaning all the parts and whatever. If the software update doesn't fix the problem, I guess that's gonna be tearing apart my pump. I'll probably reach out to Harvest Right again and see what their thoughts are on this. But this is where I'm at with my freeze dryer. Um, it's very sad. It is, you know, th the busiest time of year and I should be like stocking my shelves with powders and freeze dried things and putting things in Mylar bags to put in the extended pantry and whatever. And this is currently how my poor freeze dryer sits. So I just wanted to give you a quick update. No fun videos on freeze drying right now because I can't freeze dry. So I'll keep you posted. I know a lot of people are always asking me questions about freeze dryers and are they worth it and all this. 100% they're worth it. I would 100% buy another one. Um, they had some refurbished ones here last week or something and I almost bought another one. Um, do I need to? I don't know. I'd love to have to. Um, but I would definitely buy it again. This is just a bump in the road. We just got to figure out what's going on. But that's what's happening here. Um, I'll have another video coming here soon about the new animals that we got. So if you saw on Facebook, we brought some ducks and things home, some new chickens, um, kind of just figuring out what our farm's gonna look like here. So we'll have a conversation about that another day. If you have a homestead, you know how hard it is to sometimes turn down animals, even if you don't maybe have all the infrastructure in place yet. So we'll be talking about that really soon. If you have any questions about the freeze dryer, um, about certain foods in the freeze dryer, how to get one or whatever. Let me know. We'll see you guys next time.